Okay, so as promised, I've got my little nice doodad that I'm going to pull over. So there are a couple things that I need to do real quick. Um, I didn't quite download the firmware, actually, now that I think of it. Give me two seconds while I do that. Okay, I've got it downloaded. Oh, just, you know, for the sake of not new. Going to plug in the router. Going to boot up. So the quick start guide on the Mango is kind of, yeah. So when setting it up, where you've got a couple options, you power it on, go plug in the cable, connect via Wi-Fi. Let me double check where if I need to flip that power switch it or if I need to flip that switch or not. Mode switch, okay. Whatever that means. Okay, so our default IP that we should be able to connect to on this. 192.1. Okay, I just need to give it a little bit longer to boot up. So we've got English as our language. We need to set up an admin password. So what we're going to do is come up with a password. Oh, seconds. Okay, now that our password is set up, here's our basic dashboard that it got. So you've got a few different modes. You've got your Ethernet mode where you connect your WAN directly to the router itself and then it broadcasts the network. You've got a repeater mode which looks for Wi-Fi networks for it to rebroadcast. Tethering mode, you connect your phone to it to create a hotspot. And then you've got a cellular mode where you can take a 3G or 4G dongle and attach it to the router to directly share your network with other people. So we could have multiple. We've got our VPN, our wireless, matter quite as much. Those are our wireless networks. Here are our clients. Got mine connected to it. So I've got multiple, oh, network interfaces, obviously. Network and system. Go to upgrade or firmware. Local upgrade. We may need to install OpenWRT. Reset firmware. Overview. Admin password is set. Advanced setting. Okay, so we may have to install OpenWRT. Is going to take a second, so we're going to have to go through here. Find our proper OpenWRT. I do have a second Wi-Fi adapter, like I said, but I'm using the LAN port anyway. So I'm going to look for OpenWRT for this particular device. Okay, for those that may have the same device or a similar device, I'm going to include this just for kicks. Um, you're going to find the OpenWRT oh, repository, firmware selector, and let us double check what version I need. 19.0. 7.7. 7. I go here, 19.07.7. Then I can go. I spell MT 300NV2. Search for the model number. It's on the box. I can download the image. A file. Save. And now what I'm going to do is now I can select a file, go to recent, select that boy, verifying it. Install it. 
and it'll take a second and I will be right back. Okay, looks like I'm having troubles with backup at the IP that it was used before. So let's go look at basic creation. There we go. Okay, now that we're in the web interface, it resets everything. So we have to configure a root password, or we should at least. We've got all the basic things right here. So now what we can do, now that we've got the right firmware installed on it, is we can go through and set up the other stuff. So using S SCP to down upload the firmware image to your device. E okay. Actually go through. Network. System, administration, and change our root password. Okay, now it doesn't have to bother us about a password not being set. We should be able to go back to overview. Won't have that show up on our dashboard. So now we can go to... Our thing, we can go to our other thing, SCP BL. We want to do it root at 192.168.11 colon forward slash temp. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out what's blocking me from it. Okay, SSH access. Um, Let's see, password authentication. Allow root logins with password gateway ports. In my case, I've got some like weird network stuff going on. So the IP here does conflict with a couple things that I have to work with. So I'm going to switch around some of the IP settings. So that there isn't that conflict and maybe that will help resolve the issues that I'm having. So I'm going to have to going to save and apply that, and it's going to break the connection that I'm on currently, but that's gonna be okay. It should allow me to work with the SSH just fine to copy things over. So now it's going to go back to Starlink. You can see that that's my conflict with it. I probably should have done this anyway to start off. Let me... Okay, now we're logged in. Should be able to go and try this again. Or not. Um... Okay, um, are you sure you want to? Yes. Permission. Oh, wait. Okay, so Starlink does that notably. Um, obviously. So I need to remember which one that I'm connecting to. And so there aren't any conflicts in it. Um, let me. The network. I'm halfway thinking if I do it right. They're using the firmware. 
Okay. So right here it says to use this upgrade. So maybe, maybe. Maybe it's simpler than I think. Or maybe I'm just crazy. But anyway. So we upload that and hopefully... Download repos gives us some troubleshooting stuff. If we have troubles. Okay. So install the update so we could go through there. Your hardware has at least two Wi Fi's and it'll recommend to have three to comply with this. You can use USB adapters. Your hardware must have a pen drive or SD card in order to have available space needed for the pineapple. By the pineapple, it has to be formatted, used, provided. Tetra is made to be used hardware 32 megabytes. Default SSH password is root. Patreon tips. So on. Still flashing that, still working on it. I will go through, come back when it's on. We're going to see if we can actually connect. Let me do. Now reconnect the LAN. Give it a second. There we go. Okay, so we are on the Wi-Fi Pineapple Network now. So we can take this, that, copy, pasting. And now we have the Wi-Fi Pineapple set up. So now we've got all our functionality of the Wi-Fi Pineapple through Wi-Fi Pineapple Cloner. And we go from there. And there should be... Press the reset button. It goes from there. Okay, so now it turns off the Wi-Fi like that, and now we can go through the normal Wi-Fi pineapple setup. Let me... Wrong password. Management AP setup. Hide management AP. Open AP setup. Radio country code. Let's go. See US, yeah. Do I want to allow web access via the WAN. SSID filter setting. Client filter setting. I, I accept those two things. Let me set passwords real quick and then we'll continue on. Okay. We've got all that set up. Um, give it a second to redirect. 
And now here we are in the Wi-Fi pineapple. Oh, thing. It is all on this itty bitty thing that can be powered via USB now. Got our uptime, our recon, clients, tracking, different modules. Let's go to configuration. Button script. Reboot. So the reset button is no longer a reset button if we want it to be, but yeah. So our USB storage options are here. Extras, update, check for update. Module returned empty response. Very cool. So if we go back through our repository, So 2.9.2 is our latest version. Pine AP, we can set that up, do normal things with it. I swear, reporting, logging, configuration, networking. Yeah, so I will mess around a little bit with it and go through a little bit of that. But other than that, this is actually pretty nifty. It was pretty easy to set up, took... Close to half an hour, 45 minutes overall with me trying to fiddle around and figure out what's wrong. But yeah, also um, notes, help pages if you need it. Go through is recon stuff and stuff like that. So it'll be pretty fun to see what it does compared with the other tools that I've picked up before. So We'll do all kinds of sniffing and stuff and mess around with it, I guess. And maybe later on, try out, see if I can obtain a Ponigachi. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.